Ask Credit by Human 02211979. What's a phrase men hate hearing from women? Well XXXXXXXX's husband does it, why can't you? Babe, XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
What the fuck does that even mean? Anyway. As an adult, what is putting oneself out there? I'm a woman. I don't think I'd like hearing this either. Can someone explain to me where out there is? A bar? A dating app? You can pick where we eat. This is okay as long as they're actually okay with where I pick. If she says this and later goes X was okay but would have preferred to go to Y then it's annoying. Any phrase including the words a real man. It's a stupid manipulation tactic and it doesn't work anymore. It's not her call what a real man is. My ex tried this with me once. I told her when you let me tell you how to be a real woman, I'll let you tell me how to be a real man. She let it go pretty quick. Oh that's quick. I have the opposite problem. Sometimes it takes forever for me to finish. Antidepressants are a bitch. Who are you and how did you get in my home? I am a locksmith and I am a locksmith. Man up, not just from women, but from anyone. Or, you're a guy, you should like this. Also the belief that men are always horny or always want to have sex. Completely false. On that last part, I hate that men get socialized to see intimacy solely as sex. And women get taught that men mean that when they ask for intimacy. And it takes people a long time to realize that pleasant feeling in the things we think are mundane is what intimacy actually is. Me, personally? I'll let you know or any variation of that when I'm initiating a plan. Just say no. It's okay. They almost always never let me know. I was shocked when I actually heard back from someone the first time. Honestly was about to make other plans. It was very delightful. I was thinking. Whenever my wife says that means I'm gonna be doing something that I don't want to. This one hit me right between the eyes. Whenever my wife says this, I start running through my list of follow up questions. 1. How much is this going to cost? 2. How much of the house are you going to tear apart for this project? 3. How many different appointments consultations have you already booked? 4. How many weeks will this go on before you get bored and move on to the next project? I usually only get through the first two out loud, but if she's really in a mood, I might get to the last one. But that one's really just there to elicit the obligatory that's not what I'm gonna do response even though we both know that is exactly what she's gonna do. To fathers, oh are you babysitting today? I hope not or no, I'm pretty sure these are all mine. I'm a bit. You can't handle me, I can be a bit. Yay, that's a red flag and not a badge of honor. When someone tells you who they are, believe them. Thankfully my current girlfriend doesn't do this but don't ever say you trained your boyfriend or even friend to do something. Friendships and relationships are a great way to have a different perspective and take things on in different ways. To say you trained your friend or boyfriend is incredibly dehumanizing and makes you seem incredibly narcissistic and manipulative. Plus, you didn't train your boyfriend to use conditioner, you just made him realize that even though he doesn't think it's significant in his value system, it isn't worth the fact you keep bugging him about it. When she tells me you need to do this, means I'm doing it. When she says we need to do this, means I'm going to be doing it start to finish and she's going to be in the corner watching TikTok waiting for me to finish.